Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 tips for having a clean home. And I love doing these kind of homemaking, home management videos for you guys, and you guys have been asking for them a lot lately. So I thought, hi, what you doing? I thought that it would be fun today to share with you guys some things that I do on a daily basis to make sure that my house is always clean. And these are things that I follow on pretty much a daily basis. This goes above and beyond just my normal cleaning routine which if you have not seen any of my cleaning routines, I will have them linked down below. You can go ahead and check them out. These are just kind of tips and rules that I like to live by to make sure that my home is always nice and clean. And my rule in my house is that I never like to be more than a half an hour from people coming over. And what I mean by that is um, I like to have my house set up where I know where everything is, everything has its own home, and I can very quickly, like if someone's running over to hang out or just drop by or say hello, I can have my whole house ready and at least somewhat presentable in a half an hour. So that's the way that I like to have things set up. Now there are some things that go on behind the scenes as far as like when I actually organize, how I decide to organize my things, and if you guys want a more in detail video on that, I can show you some of my favorite areas in my home that I have organized and let you know some of my favorite methods. If that's something that you would like to see, leave me a comment down below and I will definitely put that up for you guys. But today I'm going to be sharing my top 10 habits and tricks for always having a clean home. So if you're interested in learning how I do it, keep watching. So my first tip is to start every morning with a made bed. And I know that I've said this in all of my cleaning videos and I know that you probably heard this a million times, but I'm a firm believer that having a clean, fresh made bed in the morning is just the best way to start your day it motivates you to not just be lazy and get back into bed when sometimes it can be tempting especially if you work from home like I do or you're a stay-at-home mom stay-at-home wife anything like that it's very easy to get lazy and get back in bed or lay on the couch unless your home is set up where the comfy areas are kind of off limits until it's actually time to go to bed or sit down and watch TV so I like to make sure every morning I full blankets put blankets back away make the bed and kind of limit those cozy areas so I'm, so I'm not tempted throughout the day to just kind of sit around and be idle. Tip number two is to load the dishwasher every single night no matter how many dishes you have and if you have leftover dishes I like to do them at night just so I don't have to wake up to a dirty kitchen but there are those days that I'm just kind of tired and want to relax after dinner so I'll load the dishwasher and run it and then whatever I have left over um, we'll stay in the sink and then the next morning what I like to do every single morning is unload the dishwasher and that way my dishwasher is clear and I can put dishes straight into the dishwasher instead of having things pile up in the sink or on top of the counters and it's just a lot more streamlined to do it like that. My next tip is to do a thorough sweep and swiffer of your home every day. I have one puppy and I don't have any kids but I know that when I was growing up our floors would get bad pretty much on a daily basis just from having like little feet and little paw prints in and out. There tends to be crumbs on the floor in the kitchen and dust bunnies and everything like that. So I make it a habit every day to sweep my floor and then I'll go back over it with a Swiffer. And the reason I do that is just to kind of keep up on the pet hair. Um, my allergies are also really bad so I don't like to have a lot of dust on the floor and I have mostly hardwood floors throughout my whole home. So my t floors tend to get really dusty so I make sure that every day I make sure to Swiffer and sweep at least. I don't mop every single day just because with muddy paw prints it's kind of like a pain in the butt to keep doing it. So I try and mop at least like two times a week, once a week if I'm really busy, but definitely sweep and swim for the floor every day. It just makes it very quick and easy to stay on top of it and then when you go to do it it's not like a huge pile of dirt it's just a little bit so keep up with your sweeping and then swiffer after it'll just pick up the leftover pet hair and keep your floors nice and dust free one thing I've really noticed helps keep my house nice and clean is if I start in the laundry room and by that I mean to tackle all of your laundry first get it done get it clean and get it put back away there's been so many times where I've been out of town or I've had a very busy week running around and my laundry seems to become an endless pile that just keeps growing and once I find myself getting out of my laundry care routine I tend to get very anxious and I just don't know where things are and when I go to get ready and I find out that it's my shirts in the washing machine or I forgot about them it's just very chaotic and having laundry stress I know I can't be the only one so I've came up with a system that I've been doing for years now and it helps me stay on top of all of my clothes and that is to try and do a load of laundry every single day. I tend to wear normally either bright colored clothes, which um, are like my house cleaning clothes, bright sweatpants from pink and stuff like that. 
and then I'll have my darks because I wear jeans and blacks and everything like that. So I'll kind of alternate doing a whites load one day, I'll do the towels the next day, I'll do darks one day. And doing it like that just kind of helps me to stick on top of it. And when I do my load of laundry, I will go downstairs, put it in the washing machine, throw it in the dryer right when I hear it buzz, go downstairs, pick it back up right when I hear it buzz again, bring it upstairs, fold the clothes while they're still warm, and then put them away before they even, they don't touch the laundry basket once I get them pulled out. And that really helps because you're not like constantly living out of a laundry basket and you know where everything is and it just makes your laundry life a lot easier. Another thing I do is I buy products to clean with that I love the way that they smell, I love the way that they work. They're mostly natural things that I like to clean with and I also like to make my own cleaners which I have a video on that and um, I can link that down below as well if you've not checked that out. But I just feel like using products to clean with that you actually enjoy the scent and you love to use really motivates you to kind of get your chores done quickly. And for me, my favorite line of cleaners in general is Method. I love all of their cleaners. And it's just kind of a fun excuse to splurge on some products that you love if you know it's gonna help to incorporate your house being a lot cleaner and everything like that. So invest in some cleaners that you like and you'll be more inclined to use them. Another thing I like to do is wipe down all of my surfaces on a daily basis. And what I mean by that is I like to dust my kitchen table dust my counters or actually like sanitize and wipe down my counters. I'll do the handles and the outsides of the fridge just because I get fingerprints on them and dust accumulates and dirt and build up, especially in the kitchen. There's food and airborne grease. So I just like to give everything a wipe down every single night. Um, and I actually sometimes do it throughout the day as well, but I love wiping down surfaces and things that I touch. Um, as you guys know, a lot of germs are processed through your hands. So when I come home, the first thing I do is wash my hands and I love to wipe down the bathroom too as well. It just helps to cut down on that bathroom smell and I like to use like a bleach cleaner in the bathroom just to really disinfect it. It's a pretty grubby area so I like to make sure that it stays nice and clean and smelling pretty all day long. Another thing I love about keeping my home clean and doing this kind of method on a daily basis is when I'm done with an area I like to either light a candle and kind of like finish that room off or I'll spray like an air freshener. Sometimes I'll even spray perfume through my house and just smelling something that's uplifting is just kind of like, okay, this room is clean, it's relaxing, it smells good and everything is where it should be. It's a very peaceful feeling and I think not a lot of people know what that feels like until you actually start to do it. So when, when I smell like a fragrance or a candle in the air, I know that it kind of signals that I'm done with that room and I'm done with what I need to do. And I really look forward to that peaceful feeling that I get when I'm done with it because it's just kind of the final touch on your hard work and it really helps to set the tone well for the rest of your day. A rule I've been following for a very, very long time is to spend at least 10 minutes, maybe even 20, 30 depending on the day, but take at least 10 minutes every day, set a timer on your phone, turn on like two or three songs and just pick things up and put them back where they belong. This is something that if I don't do this for one or two days, I feel like my house is taking over and my stuff is just everywhere and it became, becomes a really daunting task. So what I like to do to kind of combat that is just spend at least 10 minutes every day going throughout my whole house and putting things back to where they belong and that way I know that everything is where it needs to be and I know where things are when I go to find them, they're there and everything isn't just kind of scattered about. It really helps to keep your headspace nice and clear and your space clean as well. On that same subject, another thing that I would say really helps is to clean as you go and I especially do this when it comes to kitchen and cleaning while cooking. Um, if you take the milk out of the fridge, put it back right away. If you use a measuring cup, put it in the dishwasher when you're done with it. Put containers of food back in the cupboard once you're done using them. And instead of having like this big giant kitchen disaster, just take one thing out at a time and put it right back and you'll be able to tackle it and stay on top of it all day long. My last little tip is just to keep up with your small organizing projects as often as you can. It, whether that's one day a week, you can pick one project or if you want to kind of pick a bigger area and dedicate that whole week to doing it. Whatever you need to do to kind of get yourself in high gear when it comes to organizing is picking one space and organizing it, sitting down and doing it, cleaning it, and then being done with it. So for example, if it's my junk drawer, I'll make a separate day just for my junk drawer and I'll have my whole junk drawer cleaned out 
everything is put back where it belongs and it's all cleaned out, wiped down, and I'm done with it. And that doesn't obviously take me all day, but just little things like that really do accumulate and it makes it very peaceful when you open drawers in your house and everything is organized. And for me, especially being a kind of a goo hoarder with all my makeup and hair supplies and everything, I like to go through it on a re pretty regular basis and bring things to the front that I maybe haven't used in a while put things in a box to donate and really just kind of declutter and clear as I go. And then once I'm done with my makeup organizing, I'll make sure that's all cleaned down and then that will be done for the day or for the week, whatever the size project is that you're doing. I just like to have a spot for everything in my home. That way if people do decide to drop by, I can run around like a crazy woman for a half an hour and welcome them in with open arms and have people over. So those are my tips for always having a clean home. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel if you've not already done that. And follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook at HaloBeautyYT. I would love to be your guys' friend on there and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.